is Tomasz Moritz, and I'm teaching foresight improvisational modalities and foresight improvisational technologies at the Paluca News 10. I teach at many different places, <laughs> and I live in Berlin. Uh -huh. And this is my third visit to the school. I've been giving classes here before, and uh, this particular workshop I'm teaching kids a little bit more about their own awareness of their own physicality. I'm trying to let them understand what happens to their bodies when they're not thinking, but allowing things to become and create happenstance and create some sort of happy accidents that take them to a better awareness of their physicality in movement, in dancing. Some students are from the States, from Juilliard, some students are from Korea and from many different countries. Yeah. And next week is a lot more open level, so I think there's different age groups and huh. really different backgrounds are coming. Like this, William Forsyth was pretty much an innovator and a teacher. I think Bill, the best job he's ever done was teaching people to become a better self of themselves. He really has a, a master's eye to see how to pull out ideas and, and generate potential, these yeah. potentials, exactly, yeah. take them out of people. And so I try to, to learn how he's done that, but not necessarily to copy his eye because you cannot, but to create my own awareness of what is in front of me and take the best of each student as much as I can with the given time to pull out their possibilities from them. The ideas are a collection of, um, of, uh, of tools and these tools are then used to generate clear and articulate movement. I think this is the secret to it because a lot of um, improvisational workshops, they give you the ideas, they give you the tools, but then it's very vague what comes out of it. So we're working really with clear articulacy mm -hmm. to separate one from the other, clarify what is this, what does it do, where does it begin, what does it go through, and where does it end. Mm -hmm. So we have a very clear path and a very clear beginning and an ending of what these tools do. Mm -hmm. And within practice, you get used to using these tools, and that creates then clear and generous movement. Yeah. So. I'm trying to take them away from their usual movement habits mm -hmm. and create new ones, to create an awareness of what else is there, how much further can they go, where, where is their freedoms lie, where do their mm -hmm. limits lie, how can they find and generate more, uh, more uh, varied work, mm -hmm. not just varied, but uh, yes, to find their liberties, really to yeah, find what range, else is there, what like is the their range, range. exactly, to, yeah. to expand their range and their understanding. And this range is as well in creativity and in physicality of like, so really try to reach further, yeah. see what your body does yeah. in movement, what does yeah. it do. Following, follow and fall through. Keep being in the state of falling constantly. Mm -hmm. Composition comes a bit later for me, but a composition also comes from an awareness of not just what happens to you, but what happens to the people around you. So I often ask people to look outside of themselves and not just to copy, but to try to be together with someone and be aware of what goes around them as well while they are dancing. So they have to really create this awareness of mm -hmm. I'm dancing, but I'm also looking. Mm -hmm. And then you can compose, you can structure in so many ways of understanding, okay, how can you, one person does the combination forward, the other one mm -hmm. does it backwards. Then you create groups and things of connections and structure things yeah. later. Yeah. It helps you to fall into things that you haven't been there yet and you you can really discover through improvisation new ideas, new happenstances, new instances of creativity. It allows that. Mm -hmm. If you're structuring everything, then you have to have a forethought. In this case, the improvisation allows you to just let things happen and then you can... I don't know, structure it and clarify, okay, what's the final version of that? I 
started my school in Hungary and I went to a very academic ballet school. I, the school was nine years, but I finished in seven years because I was so talented. <laughs> and uh, you were a not man. because of that, because I was old. I started at <laughs> and 12 you were a man. <laughs> and there was a guy, exactly. Yeah. Normally the very students good. started at 10 and I started at 12 and I finished the school at the same year yeah. like everyone else did. But then... Um, through the school I kind of understood that I didn't have the physical look or I wasn't really going to be the prince in the ballet so I immediately looked for different ranges of things. I did a lot of musicals in school, I did some movies, I did a lot of different things and then um, I ended up dancing in Israel in a kibbutz company which is a small company but a very good one. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of modern works from Kilian and Matzak and it was a whole new world. And then through different jobs, I ended up working with Jan Fabre. And from Jan Fabre, I ended up working to, with uh, Ballet Frankfurt with mm -hmm. Bill Forsyth. And that was really, Jan Fabre and Bill, they were both really my big eye openers of uh, how art can be made, how, how yeah. this is the, uh, the process of making art is how different than what I expected it to be. It yeah, was They're both really incredibly inquisitive and I, th I think what I remember from Jan that is you definitely feel that Jan, Jan likes people. Jan likes to be with people and work with people and, and is interested also in, in, in people really. And Foresight is incredibly interested in, in uh, discovering how to make a new work. He's interested in creating a pro the process of making a piece. So every time we'd work with Foresight, the process of creating the work would be something completely different and new and the improvisational ideas would be new. Then, then he would bring in artists and people that we wouldn't really know, like what are we gonna do with Forestology? How is that gonna help us? But at the end, somehow it adds to our work and it's enriched us and gave us new tools and new ideas of how to make work. And you're a member of right. the Aztec. Oh my god, of yes. course I am. <laughs> <laughs> One of the, the first ones. <laughs> yes, Dance Tech rocks. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank Very you nice so much. Very nice to meet you finally in person. Thank you. Nächste Haltestelle, Neustädter Mann, Hügel.